like shit. Like ass. Or shit. Oh, whatever. I don't know. Uh, bum. Uh, you should actually look inside and see in the doodle as I do in that booklet. Actually, don't. Let's just get on with this. We passed the chicken on the way down! Isn't that just brilliant? Right. <laughs> to go through this fucking shit three times. I'm not even gonna bother with the wibbly wobbly tiny whammies. I'm just gonna cut in the middle of my going, eh! Skull to us for that matter. 41. Okay. Skeleton! Random skeleton thing. Spooky, scary skeletons have shot. You know the lyrics, I don't. Uh, I just know the two. Spooky, scary skeletons have shot startling trees, screams. They'll sneak from their sarcophagus and just won't leave you be. Something like that. I'd bet we'd make a good barbershop quartet, except there's only two of us. And we don't exactly <laughs> barbershop. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we could possibly do a cappella together. Maybe. Maybe. Granted, we'd never be as good as you know who. God, I've gone in a circle around this stupid place like three goddamn times. Mega Man's coming to get ya. Mega Man's got a freaking Gundam next to him with a giant head. That's about Super to be. Super fighting robots! Mega <laughs> Man's. And this giant headed robot is about to be viciously assaulted <laughs> by a rhinoceros. Uh, with chain guns. Yes. Of doom. B but before any Guns, of this happens... Plural. Before any of this happens, the Rat Man is going to say something snarky. As much as I'd love to see the both of you scrap yourselves, eh, eh, save it for my birthday. You're giving me all sorts of excuses to just do all sorts of strange edits during the off videos, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> You're trying to annoy me. What am I running towards? What is Optimus looking at over there? Which Optimus? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you you say, what is Optimus looking at over there? There are like three or four Optimi up there. What's that? Oh, Optimi. <laughs> They're a species now. Well, what would you call multiple Optimus Primes? And or Primals. Fucking gigantic pea hats. Flying pineapples! Flying papayas don't exist! I'm, I'm just, well, no. <coughs> MP Prime. Your MP, MP Optimus Prime. Uh, Masterpiece MB10. 
You know, they're going to re-release MP5 again. Really? People are wondering whether this is a sign that they're actually going to finally do the MP10 thing with Megatron, or they aren't. <laughs> and this is what you're stuck dealing with. I really shouldn't redo Megatron. The original wasn't oh, very good. The, ori the original was not very good. Of course, you know, I would like it if they did G2 Megatron. I wouldn't mind if they did G2 Megatron either, but that would be incredibly simple for a masterpiece figure. I know, it's just... G2 Megatron, I mean, okay, he is basically a very... he's a tank. It's simple. And there's lots of other Decepticons that are tanks, but... When you transform into a gun, there's just a lot of problems with that. Both within the whole, like, this is weird sense, and the sense that I'm... Of just, just making the shape change in a good sense. Yeah, but anyway, on, on top fickle. of that... Red. Fickle. Anyway... Fickle like a fuck I want to fickle them. Yeah, Masterpiece... Uh, well, no. Generation 1 Megatron. He transforms into a gun, which is weird for a lot of reasons. But the biggest problem is that in America... It just doesn't work because guns are bad for toys for kids. Yep. So he ends up as a multicolored purple and orange and green Nerf gun. Yep. So yeah, I'd be totally down with him being G2 Megatron. Uh, I don't mind that too much myself. It's just... I... I, I wouldn't want to go in again... I, Plus, you know, it's I would just, just like uh, a good... Uh, the gun thing just... I I excuse the gun thing as a sort of... I, I like... am Megatron. I am the embodiment of weapon. I know. I really would... Just... I, I really would just like a Megatron that is, you know, g one and a tank that's good. Because guess I what? I make a Creon... That sort of does that. It's, it's a G1 sort of styled Megatron, but with shaped tank. Yeah, and, you know, a new leader class Megatron that was supposed to be based on his current design was supposed to come out. But oh. it looks like complete butt. And no one really... Agrees. No one else sees any of these new figures as it, anything I mean, short of complete and utter ass crack. Compare it to any of the other classics figures, and it just looks awful. Abysmal. It looks abysmally, awfully, intensely, horrifically bad. And you know the reason they did it is so that they could get an Armada Megatron out of it, and that looks almost freaking worse. Yeah. It's just like, my god. I want an articulated Armada Megatron, but not one that looks. I'm all, but, also but there's not that one that looks like it came out of the built to rule creator's ass cracks. Also, there's Blockimus Prime, who is obviously you mean Flatimus Prime, who everyone seems to think is good, and in fact, it just looks to me like Power Master Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal had a love child, and that they tried to flatten it when they saw how abysmally bad it looked, but they stopped halfway. It also looks like that one artist. Levio Romandelli? Yes. I hate Romandelli. I want him fucking fired. I don't care how... Do you know what? Fan... Those, how, how big of a fan who, he is. I don't how know much what... he likes to indulge the fans. He's sucking fucks! To me, his art is as disgustingly bad as the early Silent Hill comics. Whoever did those. Probably him. It was IDW. I, I, yeah. I, I don't think it was actually him, because it was not quite his style. I'm just saying, nothing, I can't make anything out of his work. Everything is just filtered through some ballistic colors and everything is flat and it doesn't look like anything has any dimensions and I, it's horrible. Might as well be a bunch of polygons. Anyway, 
It's real sad <laughs> that we do have to cut all this stuff out. It's, it, it just... It's not a cut, it's... Then again, there are people... I, I do have the occasional person complaining about us not actually discussing what's going on on screen. Well, yeah. And you know what? What I'm is going just, on screen? What is going on screen? I'm running back and forth across a huge, empty, goddamn field all fucking day to accomplish what? A few more hearts few more bonus things. To well, if you're gonna do a playthrough, you gotta do it right. Big quotation marks there. And what do I get? Like 12, eight, 10, maybe 12 viewers over the course of a week per Let's Play? <laughs> like they have any room to complain my Let's Plays aren't popular enough for this, for this type of shit to even matter. I mean, if you want me to talk about what's going on on screen, go fuck yourself. I don't know. And then they'll probably watch one of these off episodes that I'm making out of all of this, and they'll be like, "Well, fuck you too, buddy." It it, <laughs> it, it really doesn't matter. It well, it would be very amusing if you would like explicitly state this is just where we're talking about dumb shit in between everything. You don't want to watch this, and then they watch it and say it's bad anyway. Yeah. Well. Oh. This is gonna be an editing nightmare for me, no matter what the case. It's just gonna be like, God, the amount of the, the the sheer amount of everything I have to cut out to make these episodes to make these episodes is the way they are. But I'm finally, I think I'm finally gonna come. <clears throat> We're finally gonna get somewhere with this. I think we're just gonna end this next episode on getting a Pona. I mean, this episode on when I get a Pona in the future. Yeah. We should also figure out what we're gonna say when we get inside the Temple of Time and pull the sword out, so that we know what we're going to say in the future when we put it back in. Because, yes, we were planning for this ahead of time. Whatever it is we do. <laughs> Oh, oh them rotating, sp <laughs> them spinning, lovely people. Okay, actually, I need to cut back in from the market so that I can show them where the Temple of Time is. Maybe we should have just hidden the keys away. You done goofed, kid. You done goofed. <laughs>